Hey, it's your girl, Kay Cash Noah, and we are back at it again better than before, and you know it, period. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be talking about today. Oh, my God, I can't breathe. Here we go. <sighs> this is how I feel when I can't breathe, because you're not getting overexcited, and I'll be like, ah, and then I can't breathe. But today, we're going to be talking about um, inventory stuff today i did go ahead and write out my five videos i'm gonna be doing for the month of september so y'all go ahead and get it done but let me go ahead and get into the video i'm on this lick in this weed just to balance remember people telling me i couldn't have this they told me that i would never ever be shit now my watch and my chain make them cc yeah it took a little minute but it's worth the wait every day so i don't feel like a birthday niggas tried this shit on me in the worst way but i kept that shit a hundred since the first day i deserve it all all right y'all we back so here's the thing i don't know how many videos i'm gonna have in today um, but I'm gonna try and shoot for three videos and upload them and edit them by today. Oh. <laughs> Your girl is nervous. Like, I gotta get accustomed to be behind this camera again. Like, this is get that. Let me stop. This is not get it, but your girl is a little bit nervous being behind this camera. And as y'all can see, your girl got her face beat by the one and only me. So yeah, I've been watching, um, I know this is a business channel, but I just want to give you guys some background before I start talking about different things. Um, let me adjust this camera real quick. I think that's how I'm wanting right there. All right. Whew. Lord Jesus. Because last time I also get my video, it looked like, I don't know why, but for some reason, it really be looking like one of my lashes be like this and like that. But in reality, they all equal. I just don't know why it looks like they're on camera, and that kind of does bother me. But anyways, you guys, today, I wanted to share you guys um, what I was, anyway, but I was trying to tell y'all. I've been watching this girl named Kita Beauty on YouTube, and she is a makeup artist, and she does all sorts of makeup. Now, I know how to just do the regular basic makeup and stuff like that, but I was like, dang, I want to look like beat, beat, beat. You feel me? You yeah, feel me? So I was like, I need to start learning how to blend and stuff. Not to do makeup, because I would never do nobody makeup beside myself or family members. But, um, you know when you want to get your makeup done? And it, ooh, excuse me. I was drinking the AHA bubble. Oh, no, the AHA. And um, this is not sponsored, by the way. But it gets you a little gassy here. But, um, yeah, so long story short, I've been trying to learn how to do more of makeup. So... If I do want to do something or if I want to get my face done or whatever, I could just do it at home. Or I could just go get it paid, pay for it. But it's better to save your money. Hello. When I'm being lazy, I do pay for stuff even though I know how to do it. But who cares? Anyway, let's get into this video because now I'm just rambling off and I'm supposed to be getting into the video right now. Um, Here we go. Oh, my God. I almost exposed myself. Anyways, these are all the stuff that we're going to be talking about in the next couple of videos. Um, Don't worry. I'm not going to be saying all this today. I'm just going to be saying these are all my other five videos that I want, the subject I want to talk about with you guys. Um, So, if you're ready to learn, we're going to talk today. And for starters, let's talk about inventory. <sighs> okay, girl, just chill. Like I'm, As you can see behind me, it's all my inventory. And it does go long. It comes from here all the way to this side there and it goes down as well so it is oops, sorry you guys i had to do that to just that was really bad but who cares i have all my stuff on top but i wanted to show people i do have inventory all in stock i do wanted to show people how i keep my inventory organized and what i do to make sure i know what's what and how to always make sure i know what's going on so first thing first how much inventory should you have? All right, so if you're first starting off, your inventory, what would be, how much inventory should you have is the question. That's a question everybody always asks. And this is really interesting because I want to tell you something, baby. Okay, so I would tell y'all, like, if you're first starting off your company and you don't really know who your target audience is, because it's very important, you know who your target audience is. So, once you find out who your target audience is or you're not quite sure, um, what you want to do is get at least five to ten different styles, right? 
once you get the five to ten different styles you purchase them um once you purchase them you want to make sure the size wise this is my ha my hag on uh, how i do things um for each size like okay say for instance let's pick out this rumper right it's gray beautiful rumper so i'll get them it depends because i do also sell clothes that goes up to 2xl because i believe in fitting in the plus size for males too because baby i'm curvy i don't got time for that <laughs> curvy and party okay not <laughs> i play too much but anyway like i was saying okay so we got this gray rumper right let's get back to business gray rumper um and they come in multiple colors as you can tell that gray burgundy and blue these are other two pieces of outfits underneath them so these are the three colors they come in so what i'll do is i'll get small medium large extra large 2xl and that's if they had 2xl right so then when i do that i'll get them five sizes then if i have a model or like an influencer or a um, brand ambassador i'll get their size as well and that's just for me because that's what i do on my end but if you don't have a brand ambassador and you don't want to buy because i always buy outfits that i want to wear as well so I always buy my size in it. So when people are like, oh, I like your outfit. Where did you get it from? All right, from my company. Like, I wear nothing but stuff from my company. Like, this, oh, excuse me. What's going on today? I feel, like, tired today, you know? I don't know. I'm always tired now in these days. Anyways, like, this jacket, this sweater jacket looks so cute and all. But it's a boy sweater. Um, I sell it on Kenneth's Closet as well for men. Um, this is my last fall attire head on i had this in blue and other colors but i just love the comfort of it and it's just so chill like it's a chill little outfit like you could fit it as for females too so i just like wearing it um anyway so that's how i would do my inventory i do like get one size for each color so small medium large extra large 2xl gray small medium large extra the same thing for red and then blue so i do the same thing for each each size by then you'll have you have 15 different outfits and that's just for your inventory your regular inventory and that's these are stuff fit these 15 outfits will be the outfits that you will be selling to get your monies okay those are your 15 outfits you'll be selling to get your money then that's how i would do it now why would i say about five to um 10 or less i would say start with 10 or less only because you don't know your target audience and when you have too much inventory they just sit down and people don't really know what you're selling if you're not promoting them because let me tell you something these items don't promote they sell you can't expect to get a sale if you're just sitting on money this this is called sitting on money that's what i call them when you don't do nothing you don't sell nothing you're sitting on money okay so you don't want to sit on money and you don't want to spend too much money on inventory where you could be putting money somewhere else like um, marketing to, for your company. You could be hiring somebody to be a brand ambassador or an influencer, something else, or you could be advertising online. That money could go to something else, okay? So um, I would say get about 10 styles or less because of what I just said. So getting your... If you want to be like a chill lounge thing, you get one the your chill outfits. If you want to get partying outfits, you get your partying outfits. If you want to be a swimmer company, you get swimmer. You know, just to get the vibe and feel of what people are going to buy. So we want to stick to five or ten or less for inventory when you're just starting off a company. Or even, I would say, unless your company is making three times your lifestyle, never go above and beyond. And I'll... I did that and I would never do it again. I would never do it again. I would never do it again. Like, never. So, um, I sell more. You know, it's so crazy because I sell out way more items when I don't even have inventory on hand. It's like selling hair, pre order only. Like, I so, and it's so crazy. And the main, main reason why a lot of these items don't sell and why they didn't sell is because in the middle of my pop up, summertime and middle of my summertime pop-up stuff i was got going on causing a lot of pop-up shows or whatever in the middle of that i had like this family crisis going and baby it took whoo went out your girl your girl was down <laughs> i mean like down but i'm back 
I'm back. You feel me? I'm back. <laughs> you can't hold me down. You feel me? I'm back. Any hoots, um, back to us talking about this stuff. So our next thing is um, how to get rid of inventory. So how do I get rid of these inventory? So my thing is, being that I was delayed during the summertime, I don't really get upset or be like, oh, I don't have no money. I don't have no, t I can't get new inventory until these are sold out. That is facts. I will never purchase more inventory in these, until these stuff are sold out. I will pre-order all damn day, but don't think I'm going to refill y'all up. No, baby, not happening. So these are going to sell because they're good quality clothes. And I didn't, some of these outfits people don't even know I have. So, um, how to get rid of them. I would say like, if you're, if you're trying to get rid of every single thing, I would say do a sell, like a everything must go sell. Like everything must go um, like $20, $10, $15. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like discount, huge discounts. And that's when you really, really need things to get out your way. I ha Sometimes like I do like a massive sell, like $10, everything online is $10. But that's not because everything must go. It's just mainly because like y'all got to just buy like exposure. You know, more clientele you get in sometimes. But like, okay, sometimes you have these items for ten dollars. Okay, X Y Z. But I'm my prices are in reasonable price range to me. I don't think it's too much money. I think it's just in reasonable price range. So I would say do sales, do giveaways. Um, another thing I would say to do is sales, giveaways, and what else? Pop up shops. Uh, excuse me. Um, giveaways are easy because, like, I have this thing. Where's my little card? I know it's here somewhere. Give me a film. I know it's here. So, I make these little cards, right? My little cards I attach onto my when people buy from me. And I have these little cards like this. And pretty much, my company, hold on. I don't know. I was like, what am I now looking crazy? But okay, so my company um also has afterpay. So afterpay is say for instance the item is forty dollars, but you don't have the full forty dollars. So you only pay like a portion of that. You don't pay the whole thing and you get you don't you don't have to pay the full price up front. It's four installments and you don't have to pay the whole thing up front and then afterpay then gives me the money the next day. And you guys get y'all money. So, like, y'all get y'all items. So, it, even if you were, say, you wanted your item to be shipped the next day, you order today. And then it shows you the next day um, thing going on. Boom, you get in the next day type stuff. So, after pay is really good. But back to what I was trying to say about the giveaways. So, um, for everybody who purchases items for me, I do do. I do do. <laughs> I am so lame, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I do do what's called a enter a chance to win fifty dollars. Um, so you do enter a chance to get fifty dollars. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much my giveaway. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm over here saying just a little bit of it. But you get a chance to win fifty dollars, so I'll cash up your fifty dollars, and then um, then I'll give you free Kenneth's Closet or Florence Extension items. As you guys know, Florence Extension consists of these beautiful lashes that I have on. Yeah, I do sell lashes. I also sell lippies. My lips I have on today, my lip gloss I have on are the Crystal. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't like that about these damn things. You see that? The lighting, lighting is so bad. And this is how it looks. I love this so much. And then I have the um cocoa which is like this and it's that color and that's why i mixed together to make this lip color today and i have a tiktok video if y'all don't follow me on if y'all don't currently follow me on tiktok go ahead and do so it is kennels underscore closet on tiktok and if you hashtag me you're gonna find my videos because i'm i always hashtag kennels closet and florence extension so you'll see my videos but like i was saying so that's another way to promote giveaways. So every time somebody purchase, and every single time you purchase within that month, you enter that chance to win. So say for instance, um, 40 people purchased from me within one month, but me, say it's, let's say Joe. So say 
40 people plus and jo and joe's part at 40 people but joe ordered five times for me and the rest of them only ordered 35 times so joe gets to enter the basket five times so i do a spin wheel thing and his name go on there five different times so i'll spin the wheel and then once i spin the wheel it'll tell me whoever won and i'll add it on there and just let you guys know who won a prize and i'll give you 50 dollars, and i give you your free items so um this stuff that actually helps and it works because that brings your sales up and it motivates people like dang i'm getting money just from buying from her who don't like free money baby i'll buy everything ten dollars and get some free who baby yeah <laughs> i'll buy five items fifty dollars and get my fifty dollars right back free items and free items stop playing with me i don't know how marketing is stop anyways um next oh pop-up shops so pop-up shops are dope i i wish i should make a video about pop-up shops with y'all let me write that down for one month we're going into october y'all i'm so sad i'm okay so i'm gonna tell y'all something I'm four hours away from my family, right? And the holidays are coming up, and I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I moved up here with family, and stuff happened. But um, I'm I'm oh, so sad. Like, I'm not sad. I'm really happy. Like, let's say that. I'm really, really happy. But it's just the holidays coming up, and I'm so accustomed to being next to my family on the holidays. Not really. Let me shut up. Let me stop lying. I'm accustomed to traditions I do down south. Like, I would typically go to, like, um, my church down south, such an amazing church. I will go to a trunk or treat. <laughs> I miss that so much. They had it last year through COVID, and it was so cool. And then there's this neighborhood in my mom's neighborhood. So we'll do the trunk or treat at church, and we'll go to my mom's neighborhood where all the neighborhood, the people are so friendly and nice. We'll go there. And then for Thanksgiving, we'll, I'll typically, it's me who arrange Thanksgiving to get everybody to come in town and hang out and have a great Thanksgiving dinner at my mom's place, right? And it's so sad because this year I was like, oh, I should come up here. My mom's not going to drive up here. She's just not going to. I wish she would, but she's not going to. Um, and I'm just a little sad because my sister got a whole boyfriend. She got a whole family now. So I was like, oh, it's so sad. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I need some friends. I need some friends up here. If y'all up here, hit me up. So I can be at y'all <laughs> family function. Your girl lonely. Let me stop saying I'm lonely because I don't want to attract that. I'm not lonely. Let's not say that. We're not going to speak that into existence. But I just really, I, I need to know what to do up here. I'm not going to say I'm lonely. I just need to know different activities to do up in the city. So let's get back to focus. Um, October, I had almost lost track because I was thinking about that. And I have to hurry up because I'm only in my first section and I got, I'm already on 17 minutes. October, what's October? Oh, vids shop so i would say for pop-up shops it's pretty much easy to do because it's like it's really simple pop-up shops are very easy um you go there you set up your settings i i'm gonna answer when i do my pop-up shop video i'm gonna show y'all how to did how i did them did them in the summertime so um yeah that'll be easier for y'all to do um but yes definitely pop-up shops are it pop-up shops help you meet new people meet people who has businesses and actually um socialize and that's really good especially if you're trying to grow your company so next i got because this is, this is my four tip stuff and we got two more tips and then we're done and we're gonna wrap up the video but my next one is and i'm not trying to rush y'all out because i just don't want you guys to think this video going to be long i don't like long video take me too much time to edit and then when i try to edit they tell me you don't have no storage me no i don't have time for that because i get mad okay all right so here we go it says here how to get rid of inventory i just said that see i'm repeating myself um how to manage inventory so how would you manage your inventory so here's what i have here i said always it should be like this <laughs> Always make sure you um, write down the amount of inventory on paper and online. Why do I say that? I believe you should always make sure to write down what you have on paper and online. So when you first get your items, because sometimes, and I've learned this the hard way, which is not that hard because I was like, ah, uh -uh, baby, you, I'm missing some packages here. On um, these, um, when you order from overseas, what they'll do is they'll modify your order. 
Like they'll modify your order and change it up on you without you knowing. And then you're like, well, where's the items I ordered? This is not it. So you have to go back in and fix it. Or, and sometimes they'll be missing items and they'll say, oh, well, the shipment was too big. We had to send out another one. So what I always say is when you first get your inventory, they always give you like these sheets of paper. I wish I kept them with me, but they give you like these sheets of paper that tells you everything that came with it. That's fine, they could tell you. But what you need to do is go in there one by one and check them manually and see exactly what you have on your order, on the paper, and in front of you matches up. Then you wanna write them down on paper. The reason why I say on paper is because just in case you lose the paper, you want to make sure, make, you wanna make sure, just in case something's wrong with your system or something's wrong with the system itself, you wanna have something to back it up. So make sure you always write it down on paper. Okay, excuse me. Um, okay, when checking, I'm sorry for that silence there. When tracking your inventory online, you wanna make sure that you do add, um, don't add your model size onto your inventory list online. Put that side aside for you to calculate for like models or brand ambassadors to decide. Don't put it inside your stuff. <sighs> okay, what else I wanna say? Um, but you wanna make sure, like I told you before, make sure you always purchase extra for your models. But that's pretty much it with the inventory. It's not hard to cap track your inventory. Um, do I have a system back here to see what's what? I would say this, I do kind of sort of have a system to keep my mind straight so I know how to flow it. All my shoes are on the bottom, all the way to the bottom. So it's one, two, three, four. It's four rows down like this and they're all full. No, they're all not. There's a couple back here that's not full, like three of them that's not full. But they were all full before. So um, I keep them all in one section and I'll know what's what on the bottom. This is my swimwear, this is swimwear, this is swimwear, and this is swimwear. These are going not clothes. These are casual, casual. Okay, so this is not really organized at all because normally I have somewhere casual, then going out, and it's, this is sleepwear and lingerie and stuff like that. So I do sell everything on here. I sell literally everything from everything, everything. So yes, pretty much you want to make sure um, you have a way of navigating through your inventory because some people have like bins and they put their stuff in bins. But what I've learned with bins, what pissed me off about bins, it's hard. Like, I could just come in here and I'm like, boom, I know what I want. Like, I could look with my eyes and say, okay, this is what I need. Oh, this is the size. Boom, I got it. That simple and that easy. So that's how I would say for y'all to go ahead and um, write down the inventory stuff that you have and what you don't have. And then make sure you always calculate it. So I use Wix. You guys know I'm a Wix girl. Anyways, I'm a Wix girl, and you know I do use Wix all day, every day. I am never going to switch up because I love my Wix. Home of the life for me. And with Wix, what I would say is this. Um, it, it's such an easy way to track your inventory. Once you get it, you just put exactly what size you have. So you first put the size options. Then you put in what you actually have. If y'all hear my kids in the background, y'all know it's Papa or Yaya, who's up. They're upstairs making noise. They always make a noise. So ignore them. I've learned to do it. You can do it too. So <laughs> um, you want to make sure you put that information in the inventory section and just calculate. So every time somebody buys something for you, guess what it does for your girlfriend? Guess what it does for you? Guess. It subtracts it. Yeah, it tells you. It's like, oh, you don't have this here no more. Somebody bought that. It automatically gets off the website. So then you're like, oh, do I have this site? And people were like, if I'm ordering making orders from online, like on Facebook. I'm like, oh, what size do you have? And they're being lazy. And they, if they are being lazy and they do not want to go on the website and check themselves, and I have to check myself, I just go on the website for them and I check the size and see what I have available. I do that and I also come back here to double check. I always do that, so, yep. Okay, as you can see, that was very hard for me to breathe, but we got it. Um, we have a couple minutes left. I do not want this video to be 30 minutes, so please please okay how many tips i have i thought it was four. Oh no it is all right so here we go this is the last one i have here okay it says never purchase new inventory until you have at least a quarter of your old inventory left knowing 
what you want to sew. All right, so here's what I'm trying to say here. I, I don't know why I read that verbatimly, but I did. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is here, never purchase new inventory. Like I was saying guys before, I'm not gonna purchase new inventory. There's no way. I'm not, not now, unless, until I have this row and this, I could then fill this up. Then once this row stuff is gone, all this is gone over here, then yes. But this, if I don't have that off, I'm not gonna buy more stuff because there's just so much items here. I have over four, probably over 40, 50 items that I sell. Like there's no way in hell I'm gonna buy more stuff until that stuff is gone. Now, you can pre-order. What is pre-order? That means you could get about 15 to 20 people who want to buy stuff and they want to pre-order. You say it'll arrive in two weeks and let them know. And um, you let them know when the order is gonna be going out. And then you purchase them and you have them pre-ordered. And that's if that's another thing I would say because say for instance you can't you're not selling these items, but you do want these items to you want to be in the business still for fall and all fall clothes are coming and you don't have no fall clothes. Don't worry, because let me tell you something about summer. Summer never ends. There's a set city and there's a state that has summer somewhere. These people going to the islands during the winter time, they want to go on vacation. Baby, they want bathing suits, they want outfits, and if you're the only one who got them, guess who they're gonna come to? you so don't worry about that just know um but never purchase unless you have a quarter of it left that's all i will say um and if once you do know that when you are ordering just know what you want to order ahead of time like and make sure you're budgeting yourself for the next inventory so if you say i gotta go spend two thousand dollars on my next inventory boom so what is you gonna buy for two two thousand dollars what is two thousand dollars gonna include in shoes what what is gonna consist of like i know what my next batch of clothes is my stuff is already in my cart i'm just waiting to, <laughs> I, I reach that goal for 2000 i'm putting that baby on you feel me so then these are things that you would need to know if you're doing this okay so um yeah that's that's pretty much it so i would just tell y'all to make sure y'all always budget when y'all put it in inventory don't over exceed anything because then you don't look then it's is you you end up spending too much money and you're stuck with inventory that you don't need or you regret purchasing like some of these outfits here people don't even know the beauty of them but they're here um but i have my my brand ambassador i also am gonna make a video about brand ambassadors and how many you should use um so yeah, so I'm going to let y'all go now because I'm actually going to finish this video up to start my new video. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this one and then do my new video to add up because I want to at least add three videos this week for y'all. So T-T-Y-L, ta-ta for now. <laughs>